Lonely Attack on the Different World, Web Novel, Chapter 120 Why am I getting scolded when I only vibrated more strongly below the shoulder blades, as I was told? Day 45, Nighttime, White Weirdo Inn, Girls Gathering It was a crash course. Special training to acquire vibration magic, required for a new technique, vibration sword, capable of defeating sturdy monsters. Just when we thought that vibration magic was going to be sexual harassment, the training contents were all about whipping mayonnaise? Yes, yes, it's important to keep this image of how it slowly spreads and then starts trembling. With modern knowledge, the visualization should be easy. Well, just keep shaking. If you manage to do it, then go ahead and eat. Being told so, everyone is desperately trying to master the skill. I mean, there are croquets and mushroom salad right in front of us, waiting for someone to put mayonnaise on them. I applied too much magic power and the spatula broke. Vibrations, huh? No, I get it, but... It's our first time making mayo! They desperately vibrate wooden spatulas through magic power. Visualizing magic power, they stir with vibrations. Trying to sneakily beat it by hand will result in confiscation of the croquettes. So... Everyone is earnestly doing their best. The temptation of sizzling hot croquets is forcing everyone to work diligently. And as we were struggling, Haruka-kun used vibration magic with each girl, meaning it as an example. Then the wooden spatula in their hands would begin shaking, trembling with vibrations. And those vibrations caused the girls to have flashbacks of what Angelica told us in the bath. She passionately spoke of the dreadful effects of vibration magic and repeatedly went into vivid and graphic details of how threatening those vibrations are for the girls. It brings back the sight of her wet eyes as she was narrating that. Oh, how she spoke, half crying, shuddering as she recalled what happened, trembling as she talked. Yeah, all that talk was filled with plenty of words that should be omitted. It's vibrating? No, it is vibration magic that makes it vibrate. Probably. Otherwise, isn't it just a normal wooden spatula? It's stirring it into a mess. What? No, it's stirring it into mayonnaise. Or will it remain in egg yolk and oil? That's why all of the girls turned red. Probably, including myself. Haruka-kun must be the only person capable of turning mayonnaise whipping into sexual harassment. Wow, I feel terrific. Vibrations going through my body. Yes, please stop with such comments. Here and there, the girls that already managed to learn vibration magic were staring with a blush at the wooden spatula that was shaking and vibrating before them. Why do I feel that some parts of this scene are about to get a mosaic? Hmm, aren't we working with mayonnaise? Why is everyone breathing so heavily? Vibrations, huh? So you make it vibrate, then thrust! St stabbed With those vibrations? No, we're talking about cooking, right? There is no room for stabbing anyone with a vibration sword during mayonnaise production, okay? If mayo fights back, it's probably not a mayonnaise. I've never heard of such an accident in the kitchen. Everyone is whipping mayonnaise while panting and blushing with clouded eyes. Stirring the substance into a squish, they are intently looking at it with red faces. Just what is this scene? Whoa, it's mixing, it's blending, it's stirring up. Yeah, it's spreading in circles and stirring. It's mayonnaise, so let's whip it, okay? There's nothing wrong with stirring it. Or rather, unless we stir it, it won't even become mayonnaise. Uh, it's such a wet and sloshy mess. Yeah, you probably added too much oil. Please, don't make things sound so indecent. Adding to the spinning mayonnaise, my head was also spinning with what Angelica-san told us. 
Yes, I might throw away these wild thoughts out of my head and focus on the croquettes, but I can't get those vibrations out of my mind. I mean these vibrations that I feel. They are clearly risky. In a lot of ways, they are filled with danger. In other words, he used these vibrations on Angelica-san to use this and that. <sighs> and after a lengthy struggle, many obstacles and breakthroughs, everyone finally finished mayonnaise and got to eating. Becoming jubilant upon putting mayonnaise on croquets and mushroom salad, we shared some of it with the poster girl, and the overwhelming deliciousness caused her to express her excitement through a mysterious dance? Flap, flap? So good! Was mayonnaise this tasty? Rich and yet smooth natural taste. Yeah, it's super delicious! Th 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 that's... No way! Yeah! Too close, brother! It's too cramped! It's hitting me! Stop pressing on me! A madness descended with the arrival of Okonomiyaki. He was researching it all this time. It seems he couldn't get the sauce right, but then the general store lady found a sauce from salted pickles. Not too strong, not too weak. Simply a sauce taken from salted vegetables. Even so, this light brown liquid has a similar taste to proper sauce. Delicious! Nostalgic! The girls said while crying. Haruka-kun complained that he could not find katsuboshi or anori, but it tasted great. Everyone was crying from how tasty it was. It might be somewhat lacking compared to okonomiyaki that everyone had on the way back from school, yet it certainly is delicious, no matter what anyone would say. After all, we can still barely get any eggs or sauce, and yet Haruka-kun was looking around all this time, searching for them for everyone's sake. Of course it will be delicious. Everyone's tears are the best proof of that. The girls are stuffing their cheeks while sobbing. Even the boys, who were slacking on making mayonnaise, are gulping down okonomiyaki while whipping mayonnaise in a hurry, also in tears. The taste that they thought they'd never experience again must have made them nostalgic. While everyone gave up, since it seemed like the most reasonable thing to do, Haruka-kun did not, and searched. And when he couldn't find, he researched, and then treated us to it like it was nothing. That's why everyone cannot stop the tears of happiness. Thank you. Finally calming down, we gathered in the backyard to practice vibration sword before going to bed. Wow, these vibrations are crazy. I might get used to this. The trembling spreading through the body is getting crazy by itself. Th th this night might get wild. This trembling, these vibrations, they are coming. They are coming? Eh? Or am I? Which is it? It's trembling really hard. This is no good. Or rather, it's becoming too good. Uh, this is training for vibration sword, right? Everyone is holding their weapons. Everything should be all right. Yet the talk doesn't sound all right at all. Ah, this is bad. Yeah, this is criminal. What is this black, thick, vibrating monster? This is over the line for me. I'll die. I can't. No, 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 no. And why are sword masters making clubs vibrate? And what was that about black and thick? And why would you die from that? Isn't this training to kill a golem? Hmm. Everybody seems to be possessed by a weird mood. This is that. The bad one. Clubs are banned from now on. Hmm, it's vibrating, but it's too weak for vibration sword. This is more like soft vibration sword. Sounds like it might be good for your health. Instant destruction would be impossible. Maybe it could cut slowly, like a bit by bit. This is too scary, slowly cutting a bit by bit. What kind of horror is that? 
Even if we try seriously, it's quite difficult. Not sure if the reason is a lack of power or mastery of magic control, but it doesn't reach the levels of destructive tremors as Haruka-kun showed. Hmm, just what could he be using such strong vibrations for? No way! Is he using them for? Practice, then practice again. Tomorrow is real combat practice so I'd like us to get a good grasp of it tonight. Destroying the enemy in one attack might be impossible, but it's all good if we can do it in a series of attack. So, for now, practice. Ah, <sighs> there you are. What are you doing in such a place? Training? Ah, <sighs> for vibration magic? Vibration magic felt so good. I almost lost myself there. I was wondering where Vice President B. San could be, and she suddenly appeared, looking listless but very content. Felt good. Just what did she do with vibration magic? Huh? Did she do it? What did you do with vibration magic? What do you mean it felt good? I thought that vibration sword training was unnecessary for Vice B-san, who smashes enemies with what she claims is a staff, which looks like nothing but a hammer. But was she doing a different kind of training? Did she use it for... Uh, was she actually a lewd girl? Well, I did somewhat suspect it, though. Huh? Well, I had Haruka-kun do me with vibration magic. Brrr, the whole body. It was amazing. I feel like I'm about to melt. It was really great. Mm, everyone should try it as well. He is really good. And he also looked really cute, blushing all over. And when we went to talk with him, I found him playing with the boys in the dining hall, or rather bullying Oda-kun and the others, and praising Kakazaki-kun's group as kings of idiots. Just what is he doing? Anyway, we captured, surrounded, and then pressed him to confess just when and what he did. No, I mean, Vice President B-san was saying, my shoulders get really stiff, unlike Vice A-san, so I thought her vibration magic for massage purposes. But then she said it's hard to do it herself and asked me, so I vibrated, made them shake, kind of. It was just a massage, it seems, but it also seems it was a full-body massage. He vibrated and made them shake, it seems. Guilty. Guilty without a doubt. Felt so good. Definitely guilty. Even if we forgive him, Vice President a -san won't, so the sermon is inevitable. Though it seems that the reason for her anger is a bit different. Full body? I, I only did as she asked. Here, please, or lower, or harder, or ah, or mmm. I did nothing wrong. It was those idiots who were overjoyed, saying that she sounded lewd, and the ones who were doing drooling over the expressions she made were the geeks. I didn't do anything, and it's also not my fault that they shook with the vibrations. See, I did nothing wrong. They were all accomplices. Everyone is guilty. Just like in some twisted kind of Orient Express, every single one of them was guilty commence the sermon, although one of them refuses to accept his guilt, just like always. But no matter how you look at it, An and M mm is guilty, and just what is he doing An for? Shoulder blades? That's, uh, well, a sermon anyway. Day 45, over.